welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video, I am going to be testing Poundland makeup. So if you know me, I am a huge fan of Poundland, but there are like lengths to where I will go with Poundland. There are certain things that I just will not buy, but I always get my lashes from Poundland and I thought if the lashes are okay, maybe the makeup will be okay. I don't know. So I've got a variety of products. I bought a bronzer, a lip gloss, a lipstick, foundation, a concealer and a mascara and I'm gonna give it a test. So hope you enjoy the video. If you do, like and subscribe, let me know what you want next and I'll see you all in a sec. So I have already prepped my skin. I didn't actually use a Primark primer because I didn't go to Primark, I went to Boundland. I didn't use a Poundland primer because they didn't have any so I just used my ordinary primer so I am all primed and ready to go. As you can probably see, I've got a little bit of a breakout at the moment. I don't know what has caused this, but my skin is not feeling great at the moment. So I primed my skin. So I'm going to be using this matte foundation. It's long lasting foundation, vitamin enriched. Obviously it was a pound. Let's see what this is like. I went for a shade olive. Didn't really know what shade to go for, but lovely hair on my brush. Oh, oh, it kind of squirts out. Is this gonna be my colour? We can hope. It's really hard as well when you don't have testers to try and determine your colour. The um, pot is also half full. I know it's a pound, but I still want a full pot. Okay, it's going on okay. I wouldn't say it feels amazing, but it's going on okay. I mean, if this works out a pound, that would be mental. Blending nice. And it is actually, I'd say probably my color when I have a tan. It's definitely not full coverage though. Oh my gosh, I've just squirted so much. That's the, the only thing with these squirty bottles. I just don't really get on with them. Better when they have a pump. Now I've just got a horrendous amount on and I'm probably gonna need a beauty blender to try and blend this out because this is just horrendous. Look at that. Wow. Anytime I do any form of makeup on camera, it goes horrendous. Then when I do it in real life, semi okay. I'm not gonna say good because that would be an atrocious lie. Wow, there's so much foundation on my face. Yeah, I'm just gonna use another brush. Okay, so it's definitely not full coverage because I can still see some of my redness. However, I can see that with some of my better named foundations. So overall, not looking too bad. Okay. So now we've got the base on. Now I'm going to use this Hide and Chic concealer, like what they've done there. So, this is what the concealer looks like. Oh, oh, it goes on nicely. Very light. Yeah, it, I actually really like how that goes on. Very light and creamy, I would say. So I need a beauty blend. feel like you can really see my rosy cheeks which is really annoying but that went on quite well um it feels really lightweight so overall pretty happy with that then i got this eyeshadow set i went for the gold brown and shimmery shade okay so i'm probably just going to rub a little bit on my lid 
Ooh, nice consistency. Ooh, that's quite nice actually. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm just going to use the slightly darker brown colour. I might use the gold on my lid. What do we think about that? Gold lid, wow. Audi is gonna have a shock when they see me coming through, making all that effort. Wow, it's pretty good, you know. Pretty impressed with that actually, for a pound. I mean, blending nicely, pigmented. Yeah, happy with that. Okay, next is the Turn Up The Volume and Define Mascara. I'm always dubious with mascaras because I do feel like you get what you pay for with a mascara. Oh, every time. I didn't get anything for my brows though, that's the only thing. They had pencils and they did have a liquid but none of them were my colour. So I'm going to leave the, the uh, brows bare. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's okay for a pound. I mean, I'm not going to be a snob, it cost me one pound. One pound fish! Sorry, that was really embarrassing. Very, very, very Yeah, I mean, as I said, for one pound, pretty darn happy with that. It's fine, absolutely fine. Okay, next, good to glow bronze shimmer. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Oh, that's a bit dark. She says as she puts another huge amount on. Okay. really like that. Wow. Wow. I'm a fan. Look at that. Yeah, cheek bit on my forehead. Cheeky, 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 a little bit. Happy with that. Look at that, yes. Hi. Hey, just my bronzer. Yeah, you like my bums up? Thanks, Pam and. A little bit under the chin because why not? You know what? I can afford another one if I really want to because it cost me a pound. Yeah, I am happy with that. Next, I've got this matte lip colour. I really like how they put matte as in the person matte and not matte as in M A T T E. It's matte the person. Pout matte. Pout matters. Mm, yeah, it does. So I've gone for this pinky nude because what other colour do I ever go for? None. Oh, it's like a brownie nude. Okay, I like it. Smells good. Mmm. See, how can they make a one pound lip liqueur or whatever you want to call it? For a pound and it still smells good yet some of these high-end ones smell naff i know someone's gonna be a smart ass and say it's because they put crap in it but i'm sure there's ways that they could do that and still make it look good and smell good okay it's not really matte i'm wondering if it's going to set but your girl went back in time and bought a lip gloss. I've been wanting a lip gloss for so long, so for a pound, plump up the volume. Base, base, back. Sorry. So I'm gonna put that on this. Kind of doesn't need it because this is um, not matte, but I'm gonna give it a whack. Oh my gosh, this smells minty. Mint. Oh, I've just made that brown. 
Wow. It smells like chewing gum. The only thing is, it is basically taken off lipstick and now my little stick is brown, but and there you guys have it have i missed any no there we go guys this oh no oh no you're joking I only bought this from Sheen three shops ago. Granted, it was like two pound. Well, guys, there you have it. My hair is a mess. It's getting done tomorrow. Don't hate, appreciate the glow up tomorrow. But that, I'm gonna do my thing, you know, where I come close to the camera because I never get a good shot when I'm taking a video. That is my Poundland makeup. Overall, I'm really impressed for a pound. I don't really think that you can go wrong with any of that. Yes, the foundation wasn't full coverage, but for a pound for an everyday foundation, what do you want? Bronzer, loved. Mascara, good for every day. Lip gloss, winning. Matte lipstick, absolutely fine. Concealer, are you concealing much? Probably not, but for a pound. That cost me six pound guys. I love it. So let me show you a little bit closer. I really think like, look at that bronzer. Look at that. Six pound. My eyes could do with a bit more of a pop, but for six pound, who's complaining? I ain't, you ain't. Who is? Guys, look at that bronzer, pound. Look at this color. One pound. Mascara, a pound. Concealer, one pound. Lip gloss, one pound. Everything's a pound. I just, I think this is great. One pound, six pound in total for a full face. For every day, you cannot go wrong. Right guys, that is my Poundland makeup review. I hope you enjoyed it. It was way better than I thought and I'm actually pretty happy with the way that it turned out. So for six pound, you can't really complain. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, let me know in the comments what you thought, what products that you're gonna try now from Poundland. I'd like to know if anyone tries any and I'll see you all soon. Thank you for watching, bye.